Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about my bag collection for 2018. So I only have a few bags in my wardrobe and I actually maintain an 8 bag policy. That means that I should only have a maximum of 8 bags at a certain time. So when I'm at the maximum of 8 bags, I do a 1 in 1 out bag policy. So the 1 in 1 out policy means that I only have a maximum of 8 bags and if I do want to purchase another one, I must sell one bag in order for me to accommodate another bag to complete the magic 8. 8 is a lucky number and I just feel like 8 is the maximum amount of bags that you can have in order for you to utilize your bags. So I feel like if you have more than 8 bags, some of them will for sure be sitting in the closet for a long period of time. Which is why for me, I really believe that 8 is the magic number and I can't go any more than that. Now I did say that currently I have 9 bags, so one of these bags is going to be rehomed very soon. So if you guys want to know which bag is going away very soon, then stay tuned till the end of the video. So I'm just going to be doing this video based on when I got the bag, so it's going to be like a timeline of everything. And I'm going to be, of course, starting with the very first handbag that I got, which is the Chanel medallion. Now, over here, I have my Chanel medallion. Now, I got this bag when I was 18 years old. This is such an iconic bag for me, and it has so much meaning, and it's just very special to me because this was the first bag that I got. This was the first ever designer bag that I received. So this one was bought for me by my dad when I turned 18, and it was also kind of a present for me for passing the university that I applied for. We got this bag in the Hong Kong boutique and it was just such a special experience and memory for me because I remember um, that was the first time that I ever entered a Chanel store in my entire life and I was 18 years old and that was also the first time that I ever got my first designer bag. So this bag just has so much memory for me. Um, when I got it, when I was 18, I carried this bag for a good five years. Like, this was my only designer bag for at least five years before I got my next one, which is why it's just really special. I'm never going to be selling this bag because it's just like, it just contains so much memory. And of course, my dad gave it to me. It's my first designer bag, and yeah. I haven't worn this in maybe two years, at least two years, because of all the bags that I've accumulated. But this will always have a special place in my heart. The next bag that I have is my Balenciaga. So this one is also special to me because this was the first bag that I purchased with my own money. So I bought this, I think, in... Um, I bought this in 2015. So this was from the 2014 collection, but I purchased it in 2015. So this was the first bag that I bought with my own money. And I remember I was still in college then. I was in my fourth or fifth year of college and I was working for the family business. I think I just finished one year of working with the family and I just passed a really hard math subject which was calculus which is why I just had to buy this to reward myself. I remember I was around 23 when I purchased this and I just like beat it up to death. So for a while like this was the bag that I would bring to school and I just wore this out a lot. This is just so gorgeous. This is in the blue azure color. And again, this another bag that I doubt I'm ever going to sell because again, it was the first bag I purchased with my own money. And of course, that's something that would have special meaning to me. And plus, it's such a classic design. I mean, even if Balenciaga isn't the trendy bag these days, it's still such a classic piece. And you can still easily recognize the silhouette. Plus, I love this bag because it just dresses any casual outfit up. Okay, now the next bag that I bought is this, the Givenchy Pandora. Now, I already made a video about this, but I also love this bag. This one, on the other hand, was... It was like a joint gift between my mom, my grandma, and me. I initially saw this bag at the mall. I was walking and I, I just saw this stunning red color at the wall display of one of the stores. It was on a mannequin and I was just like, holy crap, like that color looks so good. Like it's just so striking. I tried it on and the, the length, the length where it fell on my hip, like it just felt so comfortable and I was just immediately drawn to this bag. This bag was just so beautiful and it just couldn't pass my mind. Like I was just all over it. And so I basically begged my mom and my grandma to like pitch in <laughs> for this bag. So I paid I think for half and then my mom and my grandma paid for the other half because like 
I was just so obsessed with this bag. So I got this in 2015 and I did a review on this bag so I'll just link down below the full review of this Givenchy Pandora. Also I decorated my Pandora bag with this little Moana keychain. This was a Christmas gift from my friend Renan. So shout out to Renan if you're seeing this. I love Moana and this little keychain is just too cute so I had to have it on this bag. Then following the Givenchy Pandora I have my Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier. So this is in the size 30 with the long strap over here. So right now it's just like in the shoulder strap configuration but you can actually lengthen this for you to be able to make it crossbody or on the shoulder. So this bag on the other hand was a gift to me on the same year. 2015. Um, this was from my dad. So this was his Christmas and birthday gift for me. So my birthday is really near Christmas. So usually my dad just gives me like one gift. He puts them all in one. So this was what I asked for that year. My dad actually said that this was the last designer bag that he was ever going to buy for me. And that was in 2015. So now I just know that he's gonna stop buying me any designer bags. So I don't even ask. Like I just buy with my own money. <laughs> and yeah. But again, this is special to me because it was given by my dad and this is how I decorated this bandolier so I got this little charm keychain of a dog which is supposed to be my little Pomeranian Walter so my dog is a Pomeranian and hopefully this charm looks like Walter so I put this on this bag to remind me of my dog Walter and over here I have this little fluffy pink pom-pom and this was from my friend Jara so she gave this to me in 2016 yeah, 2016. So thanks, Jara, for that. So see, I I love putting my friends' gifts on my bags. And overall, like, it just looks great together. Like, this little Pomeranian charm with a pink pom-pom. I love the look that it gives. My next bag is the Chanel Classic Flap in the size medium. So I did an unboxing video of this in 2016 and I was just like head over heels. I was going crazy when I first got this bag. This bag was given to me by my grandma for graduating college which is why this has a special meaning to it. This is actually a vintage piece as indicated by the little stamp here at the front and I just love it to death. Like Chanel quality is really impeccable, especially their vintage pieces, so I doubt I'm going to be ever selling this bag. Plus, since it's a vintage piece, it means that this was plated in 24 karat gold. So for me, this is such a collector's item, and I just love wearing this. Chanel is just really timeless and classic. This goes with all of my outfits, and it's just a gorgeous piece to have. Okay, my next bag is the extremely talked about, super trendy, Gucci Marmont. Now I've had a few videos with this bag on and if you've seen one of them you would know that this is the bag that I am going to be selling very soon. So again I mentioned earlier in this video that I only have a maximum of 8 bags and I currently have 9. So this bag is soon going to be rehomed. Now I love this bag. It's a gorgeous piece. I've used it to death but I just know that it's not something that I'm going to keep forever in my collection. Plus it looks too much like a few of my other bags so I decided that I would be letting this go. As much as I love this bag and as much as I couldn't stop thinking about it when I first bought it, it's just really going to be rehomed soon. So this is a Gucci Marmot Mat Lasse flap bag in the black calfskin leather and in the size small. So this can be worn on the shoulder and crossbody, which is why you just find it such a convenient bag to use. So again, this might be one of my last videos with this bag. So goodbye Gucci Marmot, you have served me well. Okay, now this bag I didn't expect to ever get. So this is a bag that really wasn't in my radar. But I got this bag because of work. So here she is. This is a Prada bag. Now I don't know what exactly this is called because I just bought it solely for work. Now there's a story behind this bag. And the story is that during my first job, my boss was a very fashionable woman. Well, one of my bosses. She was a very fashionable woman who knew her designer bags who loved Chanel, who loved Hermes, and I just knew that if I brought any of my previous designer bags to the office, she would know. And I was trying to keep it on the DL, you know? <laughs> like, I was trying to be really low profile, and I just knew, like, bringing any of my other designer bags would call so much attention. So I decided to look for a low profile bag, and I found this. So this was actually, f I know this is a 2013 design, 
Yeah, I believe that's a 2013 design. So it's a pretty old design, which is why I love it because I'm pretty sure that no one could recognize that this bag is even a designer bag, but it's Prada and I just find it great for work. Like it fit everything and I just love the look of it because it gives that Birkin effect. Also, it's very light like compared to probably a Birkin. I'm pretty sure that this is so light compared to that. Also, you can wear this so many ways and I'll probably make a video on that soon because you can even wear it on the shoulder and you can open it over here to give it like that Birkin effect. Look at that. It looks so gorgeous when worn like this. There's so many ways to wear this bag and I'll probably make a video about it soon too. So yeah, I just bought this bag specifically for work because I didn't want anyone to notice me carrying a designer bag. And it fit that purpose very well. And again, I've decorated it with a charm. This was originally from my Givenchy bag, but since I replaced it with a Moana bag, the penguin charm went on this bag instead. Next we have this bag and it is the Chanel Wallet on Chain. Now I also did a review about this previously and if you've seen that review and I'm also gonna and I'm also gonna link the review of this bag down but if you've seen that review you would know that I am not very fond of this bag because it's so complicated to use and it's not really fuss free. So right now my purpose for this bag is simply just for formal events, perhaps weddings and events where you have to be in a long gown because it's not something that I would wear every day. So it's just a special occasion bag for me right now because I just find it really hard to use. Then finally for my latest bag, we have my Chanel reissue. So this is the Chanel reissue. 255 and this is in the size 226 which is a medium and it's comparable to the classic medium flap in size. Now this bag if you've seen my unboxing you would know that I didn't initially want it in this gold hardware so I originally wanted it in the ruthenium hardware but I found this bag for such a great price and such excellent condition that I couldn't let it pass. So I really just picked it up once I saw the listing because I just knew that I wouldn't be able to get a better deal on this bag. Also, this is the bag that looks so much like my Gucci Marmont over here, which is one of the reasons why I am selling the Gucci Marmont. So as you can see, they are very similar. Same color, same hardware, uh, same purpose. They both can be worn crossbody and on the shoulder. So one just had to go and of course it was the Gucci because it was just way too trendy. Now I haven't done a full review on this bag so watch out for that. So there you have it, my 2018 fall bag collection. So as I said, one of them is going away and it's going to be the Gucci Marmont so I can maintain my 8 bag maximum collection. If you guys have any questions in the bags or if you want me to do a review on any of the bags that I mentioned then do comment down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!